LPG gate. What's happening? Take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. If you need a personal reading, check in the description of box. Lovepeacegenesis.com. Some of you are Capricorns. A heavy Capricorn already in the spread. If you want a one question, check that out. If you need a two question, check that out. Okay. There's different links. Heavy Capricorn in the, in the spread. What is going on here? Okay. All right. So this is just getting some overall energy for this reading. Broken heart here on the bottom. Somebody's heart is broken. Uh, you broke a Capricorn's heart. Or, oh, so 50 50 is showing. So something's happening 50 50. But one of these cards is talking about it's this one direction change, fourth road, um, options, free will, choice. So you have a choice. Moment of truth, mm -hmm. turning point, change in circumstances. I'm getting with this, you guys. Um, some of you may have uh, made a decision or someone made a decision and they, they're feeling like it was the wrong one. And again, it could be you, could be someone in your energy, okay? So this one is bodybuilder. So this is power, strength, forceful, discipline, push forward, influence, leverage, mastery, resolve, intense resistance, self-improvement, exercise. Like I said, someone may have ended something and now they're kind of having a change of heart or they moved on from something and now they're having a change of heart and they're like oh damn maybe i shouldn't have done that maybe i kind of jumped the gun a little bit okay this one is also capricorn okay so this one is balloons which is fun freedom high vibe relief rising up ascension aspiration success joyful higher perspective cheerful attaining goals stress-free independence and let it go so somebody wants you to let something go collective okay yeah Somebody wants you to um, keep it moving. I'm gonna pull some cards before I go through these, okay? Um, but yeah, collective. I also kept seeing the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like some of you, you, um, you are Capricorns, okay? You have Capricorns somewhere in your chart, okay? So let's see what could be happening here, collective, all right? Um, Something could be significant about Capricorn season, December, January, around that time. I didn't bring my light. I always keep forgetting to um, put my light up. Okay, so we have the star here. I keep forgetting I got to Oh, somebody is hurt. Uh, hold on, guys. Let me get something to cover up the star with. And let me get my uh, light. Because I show... Oh. I like my place. I like my colors on him. Okay. I wanted to have the light on here for five months, but I sure forgot I got it, baby. Okay, so I'm, I'm using these letters, one of my letters. So the letter R might be significant, but I'm just going to use this to cover her on up. <laughs> okay, there's that star, um, star card and the three of swords. And let me go get my light real fast, y'all. Don't be unprepared like me, okay? All right, y'all. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so somebody is hurting because of a choice they made. Collective. They could have made the choice to end it with you or vice versa. You made a choice to end something with someone and now you regret doing that. Um, yeah, let's see. Somebody is not feeling, wow, the lovers. Yeah, somebody made a bad choice here. Somebody made a bad call. I feel like they may have overreacted, may have did too much. The Page of Swords, yeah, may have said something they didn't mean. Um, sometimes the Page of Swords can um, speak before they think. And I feel like that could have happened for, for some of you. Um, you know, somebody kind of did too much, okay? In a nutshell. So, yeah. Now I feel like somebody wants to not have to deal with, um, I don't want to necessarily say like the repercussions of 
what they did, but I feel like they, or you, take it how it resonates, they, um, they want to get another chance, if that makes sense. They want to run it back. You guys. Yep, wow. <laughs> the Fool, I love it. Yep, there's that Fool. I knew we were going to see that. The Three of Cups here, yeah. Um, somebody wants to spin the block in a nutshell. I feel like someone could have kind of flew off at the mouth and said something, which happens. You know, that happens when you are angry or when you're upset or when you're triggered you say things you don't necessarily mean and i feel like this is what happened here someone said some things they didn't mean someone could have broke things off with you um, because they were angry um, and now i feel like they feel a way about that this is someone man this is someone that really liked you collective justice car could be a libra this is someone that really liked you this is someone that really, really wanted to make this work. This could have also been someone that pursued you, collective. This is someone that was, was like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go all in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And kind of flipped the script. Five of Cups, Hangman, Eight of Swords. Yeah, regret. They've had some time to think, though. Yeah. Y'all remember that song? Y'all know that? Ooh, <laughs> baby look at here look at here yeah y'all remember that song um toxic by uh by kalani in the song she says uh i get real accountable when i'm alone and i feel like this is what happened here somebody is getting very accountable once everything is said and done that's what i get with this someone is is being forced to be accountable for their actions through their feelings through their regret <sighs> yep yep the moon you have a strong tie with somebody a capricorn baby it could be a sash too that knight of swords the knight of wands is hanging out a capricorn again this is heavy cap in the spread but it could be a twin flame too we see the lovers and the devil so you could be dealing with some type of twin flame situation but someone is just feeling very drawn to you this is a an energy of someone that is that can't stay away from you um especially with the devil here you may deal with someone that has like mental illness and this isn't like me joking but like Someone here may have some type of mental disorder, bipolar, um, or something along the lines of that because um, sometimes they do things and it's not completely rational uh, or it makes no sense, okay? So, you know, I would take that how, how it fits, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to apply to everybody. But, you know, yeah, I feel like some of you guys, there could be a... Um, a mental disorder and for some of you it could just simply be like anxiety depression um someone smokes because you know there's this um the devil in this card is, is holding this uh cigarette in his hand um so you know some for some of you this person may be smoking a lot to like get rid of the feelings or try to not to, to try not to think about you in a nutshell uh, I feel like someone made a bad choice here. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they chose someone else. I feel like this person chose to, they chose the wrong thing, okay? Let me think of another example. So say for instance, um, I'll give you an example. And this is a real life example that happened to me. Say for instance, someone does too much, right? And you feel like that person should apologize and make things right um before you guys can move forward right and this person chose not to do that they chose that their pride was more important than um the relationship and so you decided okay well this isn't going to work then if you're not willing to be accountable you're not willing to work on yourself then i am out the door and i feel like that could be a thing for some of you but i feel like someone here they made their choice and now they're having to live with it what can you do now child <laughs> 
well um but this this is someone that feels a very strong pull to you um and i feel like they are now let me kind of spread this out because i actually have a lot more room than i am giving myself here um so y'all have to bear with me here but yeah you guys i feel like you may be dealing with someone that um has a hard time with getting out of their comfort zone has a hard time with admitting when they are wrong um and i feel like you just you wanted someone to to admit that they were wrong or acknowledge your feelings or do something you guys and this person chose not to do that now for some of you they probably chose like to go a different route as far as date someone else or whatever but that's not going to be everybody's story but i do see somebody made the wrong choice here and they see it somebody sees they made a bad choice they made a very bad move okay um and now they are stressed and didn't we see this at the bottom of that other deck too now they're stressed they're hurt they're in anxiety they're heartbroken we had we see that here the broken heart card up here on the bottom now they feel the way because you know they may have chose someone over you they chose their pride and ego over you they chose their family over you you know and now they are paying for it and i feel like in emotional pain well yes <laughs> the empress this person thinks very highly of you my goodness ten of swords here on the bottom yeah they think very highly of you but i also feel like they're seeing that you are not playing about your worth and you're not playing about um how people treat you you know and it doesn't matter what what you allowed in the past you're not allowing it now okay so i feel like you may you're putting your your boundaries up um and like i said you're learning your worth whoever this is sees you in a very positive light you may have talked about having children together or you have children with this person. I'm seeing that moon card again. Child. Mm -mm. I am going to go through those other cards here in a second as well. Listen. <sighs> My goodness. Seven of Swords. Yeah. Somebody made the wrong choice. Someone took the easy way out of a situation. Like I said, this kind of goes in line with the scenario that I explained um more so than any other one but like i said someone tried to take the easy way out of a situation and now they regret it five of wands eight of cups yeah you walked away the hierophant or they let you get away simply because they didn't want to do what was needed to do taking the easy way out someone also has a lot of trust issues to hang in here um and they operate from their trust issues king of pentacles there's that justice again knight of wands and the moon again y'all come on now ace of wands here yeah collective look i feel like someone knows that you are owed something i feel like for some of you it's an apology now that's not gonna resonate with all of you but it's like you want somebody to be accountable for something this is what you want and I feel like you might be withholding from them until they do so. Mm -hmm. You're withholding until they do so. Until they are accountable. And I feel like this person was trying to duck and dodge and avoid being accountable. For whatever reason. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's a page of swords over here too. Yeah, somebody's trying to duck and dodge you because they don't really want to be accountable for their actions <laughs> and now they've missed out because of their bad choices terrible choices lead to unfavorable outcomes that they fucking regret someone regrets a choice they made you guys six of swords here on the bottom yep now they want to make it right now they want to heal things hmm all right, so let's go through these cards real fast. So we have, um, this is yoga. This is Libra. So this is contemplation. Uh, centered, go within, take a break, inner child healing. That makes a lot of sense. 
uh, a meditate, alone time, wellness, and rest. So like I said earlier, this person's had some time to think about you know what they've done we have chess here which is strategy planning checkmate grand design thinking ahead tactics moves and counter moves master plan course of action power play game theory consequences of actions where are my hands at <laughs> A consequence of their choice okay then we have this one is cancer that one's Virgo um, believe the impossible daydreams romantic endings universal archetypes hopeful magic unicorns and rainbows aspire happily ever after fanciful stories we tell so I feel like all hope isn't lost in this situation you guys um, or they're seeing it this way like somebody is seeing it in a way that Five, five, five. When I looked over, someone's seeing it in a way that oh, all hope isn't lost. Okay, now how you're seeing it is different. Okay, um, or you may also be feeling the same. But there, someone is in regret for from a choice that they made, and a very conscious choice too. So now I feel like they're trying to find a way to come back in, and. Um, Get your love and attention and your affection back. Because I feel like some of you guys are withholding something from this person. Whether it is your affection, whether it's communication. You're withholding something from this person. Because you want what you want. And you are learning your value. You've learned your value. Um, and I feel like you're no longer dealing with certain things from people. Okay. I really want to pull some of the kipper. Man, listen listen oh see that's another thing i thought of when i saw the seven of swords here <clears throat> someone's trust issue sabotage this connection this just reminded me of it because it says sabotage self sabotage here so that makes sense so this one is win money um and this is about winnings monetary gain affluence um profit luck inheritance bonus return on investment so we also see this King of Pentacles. So like I said, this person may come back bearing gifts, spoiling you, wine and dine. But overall, it's simply somebody wanting something solid. The King of Pentacles is very um, sensual and generous and wants to provide for the people in, in his or her life. So I feel like this is what this person wants. They still want this happily ever after with you. They still want this fairy tale with you. And I feel like they're going to let that be known um, in their own way. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody was, was doing something or saying something in the moment and now it's like, damn, I really did want collective courtship. I told you gloomy thoughts again, y'all same card on the bottom, same card. Okay. So we have courtship here. I told you spoil you wine and dine you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the what the card says is social life, dating, business, casual meetings, friendly encounters, group clubs, and seduction. And it did not say the King of Pentacles was very um, sensual. Okay. So yeah. So I'm just gonna pull those. Do we keep seeing this gloomy thought? So this is I'm gonna go ahead and read this. And this one is um, worry, depression overthinking self-sabotage again pessimistic bleak doubtful and unhopeful so this could be the energy that this person was coming from whenever they reacted or acted however they did towards you collective and they were like you know what i don't care if i lose you i don't care stand on it okay cool so i feel like you were like all right cool so i feel like somebody just made the wrong choice and i feel like they're starting to see that collective all right so hit the like hit the subscribe again thank you for being here leave a comment okay y'all are appreciated thank you for being here peace out